Okie dokie. I had an idea that might be kind of fun. I kind of want to put this molecule on this really huge pumpkin, actually. Like, this thing's big. I forgot to trim my nails. One minute. And we're back. Much better. Don't mind the pain on my hands. That's unrelated to this matter. Uh, but like I was saying, I want to put this molecule on this pretty big pumpkin. Hollow the pumpkin out. And I don't want to just draw this on the pumpkin, that'd be easy. I want to carve that molecule into the skin of the pumpkin itself. And then that way, if I hollow this out, then if I put a light in here, the molecule on the side of the pumpkin will light up. And the reason why I chose this molecule is because we're going to pronounce this luciferin. I've never heard it pronounced, so that's, the, that's what I'm going with. But this molecule is what gives jack-o'-lantern mushrooms their bioluminescent glow. It's really, like, you need to uh, have your camera put on long exposure. And you can see the glow that uh, jack-o'-lantern mushrooms put off with your own eyes. You just have to let your eyes be in pretty much pitch blackness for about 20 minutes. And then they'll adjust, and then you can see them pretty easily. But yeah, I just thought that would be kind of funny to put the chemical luciferin, the molecule that makes jack-o'-lantern mushrooms glow on the side of a pumpkin and turn into a jack-o'-lantern. I don't know. I guess that's my play on words or punish. I don't know what it's called, dude. I just think it's cool. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. First thing I guess I need to do is get this carved in here and then this gutted is the second thing I need to do. So we'll just do that right now. Ah, oh, crap. I gotta do this myself, don't I? It's not gonna automatically do it. Alright, here I go. how I don't want this video to turn into a pumpkin carving tutorial, I may as well throw some more information at you. Now, as I said earlier, luciferin is a molecule that gives jack-o'-lantern mushrooms and fireflies their bioluminescence. The reaction taking place is complicated, so I'm not really going to go into a whole lot of detail, but I'll do the down and dirty explanation. When luciferin molecules react with the luciferase enzyme, light is produced. What? You wanted a little better explanation? Alright. Luciferin itself is actually pretty common in nature. It's formed by not only jack-o'-lantern mushrooms and fireflies, but many other species of fungi as well as insects. But this is only the tip of the iceberg. Luciferin is also responsible for the bioluminescence of countless marine species of fish, crustaceans, algae, jellyfish, and starfish, to name a few. Everyone knows that deep sea anglers have those glowing lures in front of their mouths in order to catch prey, and this glowing protrusion is filled with a bioluminescent bacteria that gives off a greenish, bluish glow. The deep sea is pretty much pitch black, so if you want to see anything down there, you need to bring or create your own light source. Green or blue or bluish green lights are usually the most commonly produced color for bioluminescence, simply because they have the shortest wavelengths, which in turn allows them to travel further through water and air substrates. Interesting fact, most deep sea animals have lost the ability to see red light wavelengths. This is probably the reason why many prey species are red in color, because being red in an environment where no one can really see the color red is about as close to being invisible as you can get. Where was I? Oh yeah, the reaction itself. Luciferin reacts with oxygen to produce light all on its own, but I'm assuming the process is pretty slow because most bioluminescent species also create the enzyme luciferase as well. The luciferase acts as a catalyst to speed up the luciferin and oxygen reaction. Magnesium and ATP are also required for this process to take place. 
It kind of makes sense why only the gills of a jack-o'-lantern mushroom glow then. It's more surface area for oxygen to absorb into and react with the luciferin molecule. At least that's the way I look at it. This higher surface area is probably why a lot of mushrooms have gills, pores, teeth, etc. A larger area of fertile surface will release more spores, which in turn increases the odds of reproductive success. Anyway, bioluminescence is also called a chemiluminescent reaction. Glow sticks are one very relatable example of an item that uses a chemical reaction to produce light. And even though the chemicals used in glow sticks are different than those of biological sources, the processes and results are basically the same. A reaction that, instead of becoming hot or cold, converts energy into light. The bis 246 trichlorophenyl oxalate or TCPO, present in glow sticks, reacts with hydrogen peroxide, which is basically an oxygen source, to produce light. It seems that oxygen is a pretty key component to a lot of these chemiluminescent reactions. I think that's enough voiceover. Let's get back to past me. I think I have everything all carved in pretty well. That looks pretty good. Let's put a flashlight in just as a quick test to see how it looks and see how we did. All right. Still have to get these guts in the bottom out. But I think I have it carved out pretty good. I'm putting the light on that side because if this is glowing really, really well with the light on that side, then we did a pretty good job. Okay. I'm going to turn light off of there. I turned all the other lights in my shop off. So now all I want to do is turn the flash off. And that looks pretty good. I do have to fix... <laughs> I, I did a mistake whenever I put a, a double bond here. There shouldn't be a double bond there. I'll just like fill that in with something. But besides that, it looks pretty good. Now, like I said, the reason why I chose this particular molecule was because this is one of the chemicals that's responsible for jack-o'-lantern mushrooms to bioluminesce. This is also the chemical used in fireflies whenever they, you know, flash their butts. I think it's luciferin is reacting with an enzyme luciferase. And that's what uh, causes the blinking of the fireflies bum. And so just for simplicity, I did get the molecule for the lightning bug for this uh particular project even though it should be about the same it might be a little tiny bit different but it's going to be about the same but yeah i am going to experiment with some different lights i'm going to be doing that in another video so i want to see what looks best with this maybe a simple flashlight will work just fine but we'll see let me turn my light back on here i think that's about it for this video i'm going to experiment with different uh colors of lights, different types of lights, and maybe a couple different little circuits too. Maybe I'll put a Jewel Thief on here and see how long I can get a AA battery to run this. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, well, feel free to give it a thumbs down. Please subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. All right, take care guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.